Hey everyone, I'm back with a second part of our um, 2D game development series. And today we're going to be looking at um, adding the texture to our guy and uh, make him look a little better. And this is not going to be a very long tutorial. So um, I'm just going to explain how to make this, this ugly little creature or capsule look more 3D like. I mean 2D like, my bad. So um first thing we're gonna do is we're actually gonna be needing a character and I got my character somewhere okay we're just gonna need your character right here um you want to make him transparent so draw a quick character on Photoshop or paint uh, make him pixelized and open open him up in Photoshop and have the ancient version of Photoshop and and actually duplicate the layer delete the background and deselect right click deselect but now I got a problem with this eye so I'm just gonna fill that up with a bucket and um, center him, file, save as, save it as a PNG, because a PNG is, and you know, I'm gonna make a separate folder right here for tutorials, folder, 2D tutorials, and this is gonna be our Boris character, Alright, looking fresh. Alright. One sec, guys. Alright, so go ahead, take your character, and, um, actually, before that, we're gonna go into Unity, and we're gonna create a new folder. I'm gonna call this Textures, and or images or pics textures and pictures and we're gonna drag our boris guy in here now now we're gonna make a material and we're gonna call this guy boris and what we got now is boris and if we attach material to our graphics component, which as I said earlier, is the actual capsule. And trim around. It's gonna be a little ugly. The main reason is because this capsule is a capsule. And we don't want this shitty capsule. We want our actual picture to display like this. So we're gonna go ahead and um, click on our graphics. The graphics is the capsule. This is to control the capsule. Um, I'm gonna click this little dot right here. And if all these things we can select, we're gonna select the plane. Now, as you can see, we already have sort of like our character being in midair. I mean, you know, we don't want that, so we're gonna click rotation. And do 90, 180. And as you can see, in our game window, we got a character. But there's a problem. We got this. We got this weird white stuff around our character. To get rid of it, we're gonna go ahead, right here. On our boris material we're going to select transparent diffuse and our character just became a character now this is pretty cool but what we're going to do is as i said before 
there's a really important green thing and you want to you want it to make sure that it fits your character and the character controller is a way to actually resize and reposition this radius is how pretty much how fat your character is basically so as you can see two hands and where two hands are and height is how tall your character is and this is repositioning so you're going to reposition this increase the height a little bit and if we move it up voila our green thing surrounds our character just like that now if we press play and we do, you did everything correct your character should be standing around and moving like an actual person all right so that's pretty cool it already starts to look like an actual game in the next tutorial i'll be going over flipping flipping the character and animating him so stay tuned for the second tutorial and um yeah see you guys until then